So what is the enemy of leadership? What is the enemy of leadership? What are we fighting against? It's actually something pretty simple. It's familiarity. It is contentment. It is habit. If we remember the definition, it's driving through change. Change is uncomfortable. Change is uncomfortable. So how do we do this? If we remember our motivation, most of you positive thinking, positive speaking people would be say, make the goal attractive toward motivation. And I would say yes, toward motivation is powerful. But do you know what is three times more powerful? Away motivation, stopping the pain. So you're in a valley, you're going in one direction, you've got to get out of the valley, up the mountain and down the mountain, into the other valley. It's painful, it's uncomfortable, it's dangerous. So there is the pull of it's sunnier in the other valley, but there might be the negative, the fear, there's a bear in this one. So it's the push and the pull to get change. And then, this is why you earn the big money, all you leaders, people resist, fail, go into loss and conflict or freeze. And they say, I can't, I don't know, I was happy yesterday, I, I'm unhappy today, help me. And the leader has a choice to become their mother or father and help them out. Disaster, creating a negative dependency. So it's about managing that process. But if we can, stick at the goals, reinforcing and reminding people of the skills that they do have, then we're going to win. So it's reminding people of the competencies, skills and abilities they already possess is going to move us to victory. And it's tough. And it's about your resistance. They will be following your example. And finally we get to that move of, I tried it, it worked. Something is going well, I know how to do it, I'm comfortable again, and we get to something quite sophisticated and quite inspiring.